This is Wayne Tebow, an American artist that is well known for his pop art paintings. He was born to Morton and Alice Tebow in Mesa, Arizona on November 15, 1920. Tebow and his family were members of the Mormon Church, and he spent most of his childhood growing up in Southern California. During his high school years, he apprenticed at Walt Disney Studios. At Disney Studios, he drew in-between frames for famous characters such as Goofy and Pinocchio. Tebow earned his bachelor's degree and master's degree at California State University. He began to teach at the university after earning his degrees and became an assistant professor in 1960. During these early years, Tebow did not have much of a following among conceptual artists due to his strict devotion to the traditional aspects of art. He valued form and perspective. His love for realism and diligence surpassed any need to solely rely upon creativity. This meant that Thibaut did not create works from the subconscious or works that were impressionistic. He painted from the real world and recreated the scenes he saw onto his canvas. This ideology was considered traditional and opposed the ideas of abstract expressionism. Wayne Thibaut is most well known for his paintings of food items. The captivating and vibrant fruits and desserts take up the majority of his catalog. These paintings represent the cakes and pies in a realistic setting and perspective. The actual brush strokes themselves and paint job are slightly stylized, but the shadows and textures counter these elements with their realistic qualities. Another striking quality is the contrast achieved by these paintings. With hardly any black or white paint, Thibaut creates strong shadows and highlights with color choice. With this series of paintings, Thibaut's fascination with the man-made shines through. Most people would consider his work to be pop art, but Thibaut disagrees. While most pop art is typically critical of mass consumerism, Thibaut's art rather celebrates the pleasures of post-war American life. Although he had been in many solo exhibitions before, in 1962 Thibaut had his first New York solo exhibition at Allen Stone Gallery. All of his paintings were quickly sold out and acquired by museums. This is when Thibaut realized that he had risen to fame. In 1987 Thibaut was awarded with the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement. And in 1994, Thibaut was presented with the National Medal of Arts by President Clinton. Thibaut was also inducted into the California Hall of Fame in 2010 at the California Museum. As time passed, Thibaut would begin to stray away from food items. He painted human figures and landscapes as well. His landscapes don't adhere to his strict realistic style from earlier in life. These paintings bend perspectives and add abstract qualities that are not typical of old Wayne Thibault. Thibault currently lives in Sacramento, California, and just recently celebrated his 101st birthday. Thibault claims to spend a lot of time in the studio, and still paints to this day.